Hello, I'm Al Ambassador Alan Katz, and I'm here with a group of students who have helped plan the next program at American Public Square, and we're going to have a conversation about it right now. Okay, I want to welcome you all here, and I think that uh, what you've accomplished in putting this program together is outstanding. But I have some questions for you, and I'd like to hear what you have to say. The first one is, and, and Piper, let's start with you. Why did, was this topic chosen of all the things going on in the world? Why would you sort of settle on a topic that we at American Public Square, quite frankly, have avoided for the last nine years? <laughs> I think with the recent um, Roe v. Wade decision in the Supreme Court, that like that will have really lasting ramifications on our generation, especially like we don't know what it's going to look like in 10 years regarding um, laws and the Constitution affecting abortion. So I think that's really like what impacted me and a lot of my uh, classmates to decide on abortion as our topic. Okay, Raul? I think the reason that I was drawn to this topic is because when you talk about wicked topics and polarizing topics, abortion is like one of the most polarizing issues. It has two opposite sides. There's not really any middle ground. Mm -hmm. And I think if you're going to want to really bring people together and have a discussion, you go big. Okay, so you all have been part of the Civics Education Initiative. Is there something in particular that you learned from this process? Reggie? I was very happy to be in this pro this process because um, when Ms. Maxfield came to our school, um, she was very inviting and she made us learn how to t speak to people and have disagreements with people in a different way. Well, good. Jade, what about you? Fact checking for sure, like especially on social media, with like lateral reading, like I don't know about, if you guys have like heard about the whole uh, Trump being like arrested. They they posted a whole bunch of photos on social media about it, and I like definitely caught my eye. So I clicked on it, and then I like actually read and like Googled and uh, looked up different websites, and I was able to see that it was like AI that had created the images. How about you, Raul? I think the where I really applied what I learned in APS is online discussions, because I don't know about you guys, but. When I see someone say something online that I know is not true or like I disagree with, <laughs> I, I tend to get an argument. I think what's really important with that is that you, especially when it's online, you kind of forget the other person on the other side is a person. Yeah. You know, they have their own life. They have reasons why they believe this. Piper, what do you hope the audience gets out of this, out of all the work you all have put into this? I really hope that people realize not everything has like simple one answer solutions. There's a like this is a very broad topic and not every person is going to be satisfied with the solution that like is like that people decide upon and it's important to realize like you have to be okay with not getting everything that like you might think is right lynn for the audience if they don't gain anything about the actual topic if they could gain on watching people with different viewpoints deliberating with each other and not arguing with each other and not like going at each other's throats and just trying to understand and have a productive discussion. I think that'll A, help educate them on the topic more, but B, they could possibly use that in their own life. Okay, so what can we learn, people of my generation? What do you have to teach us? What have you observed in your lives? Both including, by the way, things we're doing wrong. That's, that, that, that's part of all of that too. But what is it that you see that you, that you think we could le learn from you? Um, that change is coming. Um, change happens every day with this generation as a whole. And I see a lot of older people shun us for, our, for changing and adapting to the new ideas of the world today. Let me thank you all. I will and I will end with two quick notes. Number one, and Reggie, in particular, when you talked about change, uh, I grew up in the 60s. There was a time there was a lot of change, and we were not appreciated by people of my generation now, you know, in terms of what we did. But the most important lesson I ever learned was that for every complicated problem, there's always a simple answer, and it's always wrong. <laughs> so I like, and I appreciate the fact that you all are looking at all sides of this, and, and uh, appreciate you being here today. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.